Allison's suggestion there was to make the bruschetta and then watch mm -hmm. your favorite TV show, which... 23 ABC? Hey, nicely done. <laughs> and if you're going to so watch us and then watch your favorite TV show, which seems like the perfect thing to do in weather like this. Just stay inside. Stay inside and watch 23 ABC. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, so we do have this air quality alert in effect right now. We cannot stress this enough. This is because of that Ferguson fire burning north of Fresno. And so this is for all of the valley. So Fresno County, Kings County, Tulare County, in addition to here in Kern County. So uh, this goes in or it's already in effect and it continues until that Ferguson fire is extinguished. So not sure when that's going to be at this point. So definitely stay with us and we'll keep you updated. Once again, this is all of Kern County. Uh, you can probably see the haze actually if you're driving around from that fire. So technically for tomorrow, our air quality is an AQI of 119. That's unhealthy for sensitive groups. However, it could be worse than that in some areas because the smoke from those fires isn't picked up when they're measuring this AQI. Um, it's a different particulate matter. And so uh, just be aware if you can see smoke or smell smoke or see ash in the air. It's probably pretty bad air quality. Stay indoors. Take it easy because this smile smoke from the wildfires can be pretty impactful. In fact, um, it can increase your risk of heart attack and stroke it can aggravate any previous issues you have like lung or heart disease, asthma, bronchitis. So if you have any of these issues, young children, older adults, definitely you're going to want to take it easy as these fires continue to burn across California. So as we take a look ahead, we can see tomorrow afternoon some cloud coverage is going to be rolling in to Kern County monsoonal moisture. We know it's monsoon season right now. We're going to see those spotty showers popping up, not doing too much for our county, trying to bring us some moisture, but these very hot temperatures looking like uh, we're not going to get too much love. A lot of that's going to evaporate. So we will see that cloud coverage rolling in tomorrow mixed with that smoke. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hazy. It's going to be humid, very muggy outside. So we are expecting those triple digits yet again. This will be day 20 of our heat wave for our valley, our southern mountains in those upper 80s break through those 90s, 91 degrees expected into Hatchaby, and then our Kern River Valley in those triple digits as well. Very slight chance for thunderstorms tomorrow and into Tuesday as that monsoonal moisture pushes through. But as I said, these warm temperatures really not al allowing us to have um, any of that moisture. As we take a look ahead, though, we see these triple digits for the next couple of days, really for the next week. And I do have some good news. We have to get through this week, but once we get through this week, it's looking like Look at that, Monday could see those 90s. Keep in mind, this is a little bit far out, so the models can change, but right now, it's looking like those 90s could make a comeback, meaning our heat wave should be ending in about a week. Triple digits for our Kern River Valley, and then cooling down to those upper 90s by Saturday, Sunday. To Hatchby and Fraser Park in those upper 80s. Look at that, Fraser Park finally getting down to those mid 80s by next weekend. So we'll see that moisture once again Monday, Tuesday, making it nice and humid for us. And then we're staying optimistic. We're looking ahead to about a week from now. I like that. You're giving us hope as yeah. we head into a new week. That's, a, that's yeah. what's needed heading into this week. It's been a long heat wave. <laughs> it has. So we'll hold out hope for that. All right. Thank you, Leah. Well, coming up next, here's